the next very important concept in your uh, third unit of design of tension members is shear lag so the main concept of shear lag lies on the stress distribution whether it may be uniform or non uniform so shear lag shear lag is a concept that is used to account the uneven stress distribution in the connected members but not all the elements so those elements like flange web leg this phenomenon is not applicable so it is applicable only for connected members so what are connected members here i have given one example here for this is an angle section which is connected to a flat plate by using bolts so this is an example for your shear lag oh sorry this is an example for your connected members so here there will be the when, when we apply a tensile load here the p is called load tensile load so uniform stress is in this direction and this area this particular region is not in stress so this is a, this is a concept of shear lag so in order to understand the shear lag concept let us take a simple example so let us consider a flat rectangular plate which is fixed at one end the fixed end let assume as a and b as free end so when we apply a tensile load on the free end so let f be the tensile load so in order to understand the concept of uh, shear lag first we have took one example so let, let us consider a flat rectangular plate which is fixed at one end that is a and free end p so we are applying a tensile force or tensile load on the free end so let us see what happens so the normal stress distribution and deformation at free end by the application of tensile load it will be now un ununiform it will be on uniform it will be ununiform so as we are applying more load on the free end so more elongation takes place at free end and less elongation means zero elongation takes place at fixed end so more elongation takes place at free end due to application of load here load is tensile and at fixed end at fixed end the elongation is zero elongation is zero due to no application application of load so this phenomenon of variation of stress and shear deformation is called as shear lag so this concept has a practical significance practical significance in designing steel structures like angles t section and channel section so in order to understand the concept of uh, shear lag uh, we have assumed a flat rectangular plate which is fixed at one end and free at one end so after assuming a uh, flat rectangular plate we have assumed a tensile load which is acting at the free end 
and no load is acting at the fixed end. So what happens here? The normal stress dis uh, distribution and deformation at free end by the application of tensile load will be ununiform. So the concept has a practical significance in designing steel structures like angle section, T section and channel section. As you know, as a more load is uh, applied on the free end, more elongation takes place at the free end. As fixed end, there is no elongation because due to no application of load at the fixed end. So the phenomenon of variation of stress and st shear deformation, the variations in the stress and shear deformation is called as shear lag, is called as shear lag. So shear lag is a concept that is used to account the uneven stress distribution in the connected members but not all the elements, flange, web, leg, etc. So for this we have considered a flat rectangular plate. For this we have considered a flat rectangular plate. Is it clear? Okay. 